first it was Target, then Michael's and Sally's beauty products. Now we're looking at a cyber attack on eBay. No user account information has been compromised, but users are encouraged to change their passwords. Joining me now is security expert Eric Chu with High Trust, based out of Mountain View. Eric, thanks for joining us. It's great to be here. Thanks, Annie. Okay, so I was just telling you I purchased things on eBay recently. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about this hacking incident. What happened? So it's definitely deja vu. Uh, what we know is that eBay was uh, breached about three months ago, but only found out in the last couple of weeks. And the attack was very similar to the breach at Target back in December of last year. Essentially, an outside attacker was able to steal employee credentials that gave that attacker access to eBay's network and ultimately a database containing personal information on, on over 100 million eBay users, including passwords, names, home address information, date of births, and phone numbers. Wow, so what does this mean for consumers, especially for people who do use eBay on a regular basis? Yeah, so data is the new currency, right? Hackers are after our data in order to access our bank accounts and ultimately steal our identities. And consumers should immediately change their eBay passwords as well as uh, any other websites that they use those same credentials. In fact, uh, we should all use technically different passwords at all of the different online sites as well as work accounts that we have. Uh, in addition, uh, we should all be careful about clicking on links within suspicious looking emails. Uh, now that these hackers have some information on us, they want more. And one way they get to that is by using what's called phishing. Legitimate looking emails that when you click on a link may install spyware on your computer or may trick you into giving more information in addition, you should sign up for a credit monitoring uh, service as well as check your bank account records frequently. We actually have a blog on this on our website at, at hightrust.com. And do we know what these hackers did? They actually make purchases on our behalf without knowing or are they uh, charging things to our bank accounts and our credit cards and our PayPal? Yeah, so we're, we're still early in that. Um, a lot of times, you know, hackers are getting smarter and they do not uh, make, uh, you know, transactions right away once they steal uh, information. Plus, again, what they're trying to do is they're trying to gain as much information on us as possible in order to access our bank accounts as well as uh, be able to impersonate us. So how often should we change our passwords? And uh, obviously the more complex the password, the more you're protected. You know, you should change passwords on a periodic basis. I think uh, a lot of recommendations are every uh, 90 days. Uh, but um, in general, I think a good hygiene is to have different passwords at all of our online sites, which minimizes the potential risk if your passwords are stolen at one site. As a consumer, it's frustrating when you hear of so many big name retailers, you've got eBay, Target, Michaels, um, getting hacked. Why is this happening more often, especially recently? Yeah, I think um, companies really, you know, are focused on two priorities primarily. One is revenues and the other is profits. And unfortunately, security doesn't drive either of those two priorities. Instead, many companies historically have, look, have looked at security as an insurance policy. Maybe there's a one in a thousand chance I get breached. Maybe I pay a fine and, and I'm fine with that. Um, now, what's changed is the stakes are much higher. If you look at Target, right, uh, you know, for the first time ever, a Fortune 100 company CEO has lost his job over a data breach. You've had Senate and state investigations. You've had massive uh, revenue and profit drops, right, and brand uh, damage as, as a result of that. And so instead of it being an insurance policy, it's more like playing Russian roulette if you don't make security a top priority within your organization. In addition, I think most companies are still stuck in an antiquated model of security, which is let me put up a strong perimeter, right? Uh, what we call an outside-in model of security, and let me assume I can try to keep the bad guy out. Yeah. Now, what's happened is all of the big breaches over the last year have all been from the inside, whether it's Target and the HVAC uh, contractor credentials were stolen, whether it's eBay and employee credentials are sto stolen, or in the case of Edward Stone, you had an employee contractor that stole millions of government records, right? And the reason for that is that you can access the most data once you're on a company's network, 
and relatively uh, also be undetected. And so companies really need to shift this model to an inside out and essentially assume they have somebody bad already on their network. And one last question. I know eBay bought PayPal, so if you're also a PayPal account holder, should you change that password as well yes. right away? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they very much view those two uh, companies as separate. So, um, and again, I think one dangerous part with passwords is you know, we're all, we can all be lazy at times and use the same password across all of our sites. So that means that if your password is compromised at one site, you potentially have the risk of that, uh, you know, being able to access other accounts like your bank accounts or maybe even your work network and have other breaches happen. So um, you should change your passwords at all your sites. Okay. Eric Chu, president and co-founder of Mountain View is High Trust. Thank you so much for Great. coming in. Thank you for having us. All right. We'll be right back with more.